Good morning. Today is May the 22nd, and this is Pastor Rick's Reflections. Today we're going to read from Luther. Our verse, our verse for today is John uh, chapter 17, verse 4. I glorified you on the earth by finishing the work that you gave me to do. Then Luther writes, If Christ had not been glorified, the Father's glory could not have come to us, but would have perished with Christ. The glory of Christ and that of the Father are indeed are, excuse me, are interlocked and interwoven. These are one indivisible glory, so that the Son receives his glory from the Father, and the Father is glorified in and through the Son. As Christ our head prays, so also must we who cling to him pray that he may be glorified in us. For as he fared on earth, <clears throat> so we must fare. For his sake we, because we glorify him and praise him, with our teaching and living, must submit to shame, condemnation, cursing, and death, so that in our suffering also his name and holy word will be persecuted and reviled, but that his honor may remain, and to keep his word he must help us out and turn the wheels so that the world must be shown to be wrong and condemned with all its shame, while we enter into the highest honor and glory." Thus, his honor and praise stand out most vividly and spread through the Holy Spirit and the mouth of Christians into all the world. This he calls the work that the Father gave him to do, namely drawing on himself all shame and blame and suffering and death for the honor of the Father. And for this and all this for our sake, that we may be redeemed and have eternal life. Let us pray. Good and gracious God, we thank you for another incredible day that you give us, a day where uh, we are bathed in your love and have the opportunity to share it with others. We continue uh, to ask for help for so many um, problems in this world, uh, for peace, especially in places like Ukraine, and for uh, peace throughout the world, uh, for an end to violence especially shootings that seem to show up all the time. Uh, we ask you to help us figure out how we can be answers uh, to prayer, where uh, we can help those who are in need, the hungry, any who are hurting or homeless or sick. Show us what we can do and help us to be your hands and feet here. Keep us always in your care. Remind us of your love in Christ's name we pray. Amen.